Hi, this is Graphic Design 101, Section 2. I recommend you to watch the Section 1 of this series before watching this video because there you'll find tutorials on how to use tools that are present in Adobe Illustrator. If you do know how to work with the software, then let's continue ahead. So our first project is to make vector art using a pencil sketch. So after I have my sketch ready on a paper, I am creating a new file in Adobe Illustrator. And then I'll just import an image that I clicked off the drawing. So the first layer is my background layer and the second layer is where my sketch is going to be. I'll place the sketch and turn down its opacity and then lock the layer. Now on layer 3, I will be basically tracing the sketch with the pen tool. I'll be linking the tutorial to the pen tool and all the other tools as well that we're going to make use of in the description below. I'll be tracing all outlines of a cute owl here and I'm going to correct all the curves as I go. So after I have all the shapes in place, I will turn off the visibility for the layer 2 since we don't need it anymore and we can go ahead with filling colors in our illustration. The great thing here is that you can always keep fixing your lines and colors till the very last point as well. I added a background color and increased the stroke for the entire sketch to make it look more cartoonish. After I have decided a basic style and a color palette, I can move to the next step that is detailing. Here I am making use of the free restore tool. Remember to watch the videos from the section 1 if you don't know how to use these tools. So for adding details, I'm gonna first add these lines on the tail and then simply with a brush tool i'm going to add some fur like detailing on the body and the wings our basic sketch didn't have any colors so here right now i'm taking my time to decide on vibrant and pretty colors now i'll be adding shadows as you might have seen that in the sketch there were darker areas present around the tail and just below the head so those are some places that we are going to be adding shadows here i'm simply just drawing out the area for the shadows using a brush tool but this is not complete without making use of the shape builder tool i'll now be combining the lines that i just drew and the shape of the body to end up with the shape for the shadows for the shadows, I'll be filling the same color that I used for the body but I will be changing the blending mode to multiply and then turning down the opacity. Note that the shadow layer has to be underneath other elements like the arms and the face and the branch so that the blending mode that I applied to it makes use of only the one shape that I want which in this case is the body. After I'm happy with how this shadow looks, I'll be adding more shadows to other regions. I'm following the same procedure here as well, drawing the outlines for the shadows, turning the stroke zero and then making use of the shape builder tool. Also note that before using the shape builder tool, on my main shapes, I first created a copy of them so that when I delete the regions where I don't want my shadows to be, I don't end up deleting those portions from the main shapes as well. I'm also adding a little shadow to the beak. Again using the same procedure, I'm adding shadows to the branch. Remember you have to keep making use of layers and stacking order for your objects. I'm adding more details around the eyes here but instead of using the multiply mode I'll be making use of the screen mode
So after adding a bit more details and changing the background a bit as well, I'll be saving my file and exporting it to PNG format. And here is a final result. Tune in to the next video in our series. Thanks for watching.